Division of Decimals Great day students! Welcome back to another lesson. Today, you will learn how to divide decimals or mix decimals by whole numbers and vice versa. Let us start. First, let's have a quick review on the parts of division. The first number or the number being divided is called the dividend. The second number or the number that divides the dividend is called divisor. The answer is called quotient. And there is the remainder. Same thing in our long division method. The number we find inside is the number being divided, which is the dividend. The number that we put outside is the number that divides the dividend, which is the divisor. And our answer is on top, which is the quotient. And the number below is the remainder. Now that you know the parts of division, let's get ready to our lesson. Let's try this first example. 12 divided by 0 0.6 or 6 tenths. Here, in our first example, we are dividing a whole number by a decimal. But first, let's write it down in a long division form. There. Now our first step is, we need to change the divisor to a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right until it becomes a whole number number. We need to remember the number of times we move the decimal point to the right. So let us count. One. There. At this point, 0 0.6 become 0, 06. We can already remove 0 to make it 6. There. Now our second step is we move also the decimal point of the dividend the same number of times we move the divisor's decimal point and we annex zero as needed. But where is the decimal point of a whole number? The decimal point of a whole number is at the end of the number. There. Now since we move one time in the divisor's decimal point, we are also going to move the decimal point of the dividend one time to the right. Let's count. 1. Since there is an empty decimal place, let's put 0. There you go. Now 12 became 120. Now here, we are dividing 120 by 6. The next step is we place the decimal point directly above the dividend before dividing. There you go. Now, it's time to divide like how we divide whole numbers. 120 divided by 6. Since we cannot divide 1 by 6, let's get 12. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 6 is 0. 0 times 6 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Now our answer is 20. Since it's a whole number, we can already remove the decimal point. Now let's have another example. Let's write it down in a long division form. There. Remember, our first step is to change the divisor into a whole number. Let's move the decimal point to the right. Let us count. 1, 2, 
Now at this point, we can already remove 0. Since we move 2 times in the divisor's decimal point, we are also going to move the decimal point of the dividend 2 times to the right. Let us count. 1, 2. Since there are empty decimal places, let us put 0. There you go. Next is, let's put the decimal point directly above the dividend before dividing. There. Now here, we are dividing 8,400 by 50. Let's divide. 84 divided by 15 is 5. 5 times 15 is 75. 84 minus 75 is 9. Let's bring down 0. 90 divided by 15 is 6. 6 times 15 is 90. 90 minus 90 is 0. Let's bring down 0. 0 divided by 15 is 0. 0 times 15 is 0. Now 0 minus 0 is 0. Since our answer is a whole number, we can already remove the decimal point. Now our answer is 560. Now let's have another one. This time, we are going to divide a decimal by a whole number. 4.1 divided by 2. Since the divisor is already in a whole number, there's no need for us to move the decimal points. We are just simply going to divide this like how we divide whole numbers. But first, let's put the decimal point directly above the dividend. There. Now let's divide. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Let's bring down 1. 1 divided by 2 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Since there is still a remainder in dividing decimals, we need to add zeros in the dividend. There. Now let's bring down 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. Since there is no more remainder, our answer is 2.05 or 2 and 5 hundredths. Great job! Let's have another example. At this time, we are going to divide a decimal by a decimal. 20.1 divided by 0.15. Since our divisor is a decimal, we are going to change it into a whole number. Let's move the decimal point to the right. Let's count. 1, 2. Now we can remove the zeros. Since we move 2 times in the divisor, we are also going to move 2 times in the dividend. Let's count. 1, 2. Since there is an empty place value, let's put 0. There you go. Next, let us put the decimal point directly above the dividend. Now, it's dividing time. 2010 divided by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 minus 20 is 0. Let's bring down 1. 
1 divided by 5 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Bring down 0. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. Since there is no more remainder, our final answer is 402. Great job, students! Here are the things that you learned today.